What's up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. I post a video Monday through Friday on contemporary and designer fashion, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any one of my uploads. And today we're going to be doing a haul, which is very weird because normally I don't do a haul in this sense. I actually have all the pieces of clothing that I have. Um, some of it is to show the item that I bought, how I would wear it. I have some accessories I want to go ahead and show you, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. There is quite a bit of things, and I will say I really have been into buying things for spring and summer. I'm normally very much a winter person, but I've just been feeling confident, and I've been buying a really, really fun basics but that i can wear again and again and that can dress up or dress down so you'll see that in the video by the type of pieces that i purchased and i will also be styling all the items which is something that i've never really done before so i'll style every piece how i'm going to be wearing them so let's go ahead and get started so we'll start with the clothing and then we'll end with the uh, handbags because I have two handbags here and one of them is from Burberry so that's gonna be quite exciting so also all the links for everything will be down below if you guys want to see any more styling videos definitely let me know down below because uh, I'm kind of getting into the styling type videos so I'm not sure if you guys like them or you don't like them because this is a haul video but it's kind of like different because I'm not normally sitting in a chair but let's go ahead and get started. So first item that I purchased is this Aguilty bodysuit. And the reason why I went for this bodysuit, it is in a size medium. And the reason why I went for it is because it has, I love the material and I love this little ribbed and I like how thin this is. And this is going to be a great item when it's very, very hot in the summer to layer with a third piece. This one happens to be on cut out. That's kind of my preferred style in a bodysuit. I feel like it makes everything look very seamless. Everything kind of goes with together. This one's in a size medium and I tried it on and I am in love with it. I've been losing a little bit of weight so this one will look really, really well. Late April's when I'm gonna start wearing a lot of these very, very fun and summery pieces. But this first one is this A Goldie. I love A Goldie um, shorts. They go with everything and A Goldie has been really great quality from everything that I've purchased. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give this A Goldie bodysuit a try and it is perfect. I love it. I, I get the perfect amount of coverage and who knows, um, maybe towards the end of the summer, I'll wear this as a single piece, who knows? But the first item that I purchased is this um, a Goldie bodysuit. We're also going to be keeping in the theme of bodysuits is this one from Aritzia. I actually own this one in black. I bought the black one last summer. I did get a little bit of wear on it, so I decided to add a white one. Now for white bodysuits, normally white you obviously see a lot more. So anything white, I tend to always size up a little bit more. So normally in the black bodysuit, I have it in a medium. This one I ended up getting in a large. I have already worn this um, two times. It is from the Babaton line from Aritzia, size large. And what I like is that it's kind of like, it has a little bit of a cooling effect on the fabric. And also it's kind of like that contouring fabric so I feel like it, it makes whatever you're wearing very flattering. You can wear this as a single piece or you can wear it where you can layer it as well as in a thong cut out which I really really like in body suits. Just why you can never go wrong. I love the detail here on the neck. Um, this one like I said they're very versatile pieces where you can dress up or you can dress down. So that's why I ended up going for the body suits because I feel like you can never go wrong body suits and for me. I think, I, you know, this is a t-shirt right here, but I don't like all over time when you move, you know, fabric comes out and I, sometimes I don't have time to be tucking in my items. And I like how uh, with the bodysuit, everything is super seamless, everything goes. You can see I'm very into the white items, guys. Um, next one is this Anina Bean crew neck. I had a crew neck that I bought when I was in Denver. Um, and I think it said walk with me. I'm getting rid of that one in my wardrobe and I was missing kind of like that one kind of nice sweatshirt that's in a nice white color that I can wear with denim. I can wear with shorts. I can just have so much versatility on it. And so I found this one from Anina Bing. You guys know Anina Bing is one of my favorite designers for clothes. I have many of her pieces and I really, really haven't been disappointed. Every item that I have from Anina Bing for the most part has been a 10. And so this one, what I love is that it is kind of like, it, I like the little material here because it's not super thick, but also sometimes white can be a little see-through and this is definitely not see-through. It has her AB right here, but what I like is that not even the camera can really pick up the monogram on it. It's just very seamless. If this was stitched in in black or any other color, I would have not purchased. I like that it has a branding, but I like how it's seamless. Everything goes. This one is 
is a little bit more of a crop. This one isn't a size medium. I also ordered the large one and I decided to keep the medium over the large. Um, I can wear this crop with denim. I can wear them with leggings. I can wear them with shorts. I can really dress it up. I can really dress it down. So for me, I love versatility items and I was needing something like this in my wardrobe. So I decided this one will hold up really well and I will have this and I'll have a because I've been wearing it. Kind of like a little bit of a casual item. But this one is, like I said, I already wore it. I'm getting so much wear out of it so I cannot wait to get even more wear on it. Item is this Veronica Beard blazer. I forgot what video, but I kind of showed you a sneak peek of kind of this haul. And I showed you how I was at TJ Maxx, right? I was just like, I was in and out. I only really had 15 minutes. I was like, I want to go to TJ Maxx. I haven't went there in a hot second. Quiero mirar, quiero mirar, quiero mirar. I've been manifesting beautiful and items for summer. And one of the items was a white blazer. I made down a list and I told my friends, these are the kind of the things that I'm looking for for spring and summer. If you guys have any suggestions or if you come across anything, please let me know. And one of the things on that list was a white blazer. And as you know, white blazers, A, can look, can be very sheer, B, white, just white in general is just such a hard item for me to find that looks flattering, looks good on my body type. And so I went in there, I found this beautiful, guys, this beautiful linen Veronica Beard blazer. It was the only one that was there in a size A, guys. Yes, in a size A. And guess how much this was, guys? $80. Something like this from her website, from the Veronica's website, retails for $700. So I got this for almost 90% off. I got a beautiful, well-made linen blazer from Veronica Beard with the beautiful buttons no hardware i can wear this with gold i can wear this with silver with gunmetal in a beautiful creamy color nothing wrong with it has a little opening in the back i got this one for 80 dollars which is insane i'm a big fan of veronica beard blazers the one that i'm wearing today is from veronica beard so a bit of an oversized little moment that i'm serving you guys today and so i'm so happy that i found this style this with so many outfits and i feel like i need another white blazer because I have so many outfits planned for this one. And this one, I'm planning to wear it with the little wavy basket bag that I bought during the winter. Oh my God, this is that padrissima. I cannot wait to wear it. And this is my first white blazer that I have in my collection. And I cannot wait to get more wear on it. I cannot wait to wear this baby out. So happy, I loved out. And Veronica Beard size a white classic, $80. And what was weird too, it's that all the other Veronica Beard blazers were like 130, 150, um, and this one just happened to be 80. It was 80, the only one there in a size 8, my size. I was like, I manifested it and I got it. So, um, super happy with the Veronica Beard blazer. Can never go wrong with. And I'm so here for this little um, summer, spring, summer 2021 moment. And to kind of buying things to complement my wardrobe with pieces that I already have. And so I bought this one during the winter. This is the Anina Bean Kaya blazer. And then during the summertime, I bought the Kaya blazer in the sand color. So this is the Anina Bean. I already have this. You guys have seen me wear this. I love what I love about it. I had the Madeline blazer from Anina Bean and I ended up getting rid of the Madeline one just because I had, that one was a little bit more of, it wasn't as structured, it was more casual. And I already had like a lot of casual blazers. Got rid of that one and I added this one. Um, and what I like about the one is it has a little bit more of a structure towards it. I think it looks a lot more dressed up. And so I was like, I kind of want to have a cute, some cute matching sets for spring and summer. And so I just happened to look around on the websites and I found these, the matching short for the blazer. Um, that's how I need to be warm um, for literally 60% off. And I was like, I have to buy it. It's literally the matching set black i already love the material i know this is not going to wrinkle i love it normally i'm not the type of fan to get a lot of paper bag or paper weight pants is that how you call it the one that kind of cinches in where you tie it up but since it's the blazer set and i will be wearing the blazer and it's going to be kind of covering it up it'll be perfect so like literally i can wear the aritzia bodysuit i can wear the Nina being short the Nina being blazer and it literally is a whole set i can wear the row sandals that i bought from a couple hauls ago the chanel classic flap put my dagnido or backpack on my saint laurent tote one of my Tory birch handbags and i'm out the door it's literally perfect i look polished i look seamless and i love it and i got this one in a size eight it fits absolutely perfect i love the little pockets i love that this is already stitched and gives it kind of that effect that you did it but you don't have to worry about it kind of going down it fits super good super flattering so excited that i have a matching set I have obviously the kaya in the nude in the nude one as well so i may actually buy the matching short so i'll have like a i have kind of like a sandy color black matching blazer and short set for the summertime and i feel like i'm perfect i don't need to 
uh, purchase anymore but as you can see the pieces that i've been purchasing all goes with each other it all mixes and matches and like i said that's what a wardrobe should be made out of yes we love our nice wow pieces and we should always have wow pieces but i think a good wardrobe and, and that goes for men and women is always made out of good basic and we're going to be talking about the next basics so uh, like i said i'm going to be wearing a lot of things that i haven't worn in the summer sandals tank tops really kind of like short shorts not super super short so I decided to invest in some nice classic denim shorts and this one is a little bit more on the scandalous side I will say I will probably have to tuck in to wear these um, probably not this one here this one I would and so I ended up getting two AGOD shorts like I said I had long AGOD trousers before I have some one of my favorite blue jeans is from AGOD that I literally got uh, I want to say like seven months ago and I've been wearing it not I wanted to invest in some nice shorts AGOD shorts are expensive, but they're not the end of the world pricey, but I know that I'm in, these are, AGOD is kind of like Levi's where you can just kind of go in again and again, there's no branding in the back, they just go with everything, and so I already bought one AGOD short in January, and then I bought two here, and then I'm waiting on one more, and, um, and then after that I'm good. I, last year I bought a black Levi's, a, a, a blue Levi's, a white pair of Citizens Humanity shorts. I'm like, after the shorts I am done, I do not need any more. And so I ended up getting this one, and this one's the classic swap meet one. And I tried this one on when I was in Century City um, in LA. I was going to buy them, but I ended up not buying them. I really wish I did, because I would have worn them. But I have them now, and this one's in a size 27. I love the short. They go really well. It's like For me, it's like the perfect size, the fit, and the perfect color. As you can see, they're so, these ones are a little bit short. So I'm, I'm very cautious of how I style shorts because sometimes they can come across as very inappropriate. So um, this one, I will be kind of cautious of where I wear this one too. This one's a little bit longer, not a lot longer, but if I'm going to wear one out, it'll probably be this one. This one will probably wear these out a lot, a lot out in, like, in the general public. But if I'm like out on vacation and stuff, I'll wear them out. And so I just love the color. They just fit so well. And as you can see by the pick, as you can see by the me trying them on they just fit good and i love them they'll get a lot of wear from them and i'm here and they are serving the fantasy and like i said there this one was um one 128 these ones are the parker long short yeah these ones are a little bit longer so like i said it's a little bit more appropriate they cut me really well in the back anybody that says once you go to a goldie and you're used to other premium denim in shorts you can never go wrong you can never go back which is true i feel like Levi's and Agoldies are the ones that I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the summer and I'm here for them and yeah so two Agoldies shorts definitely for the win and definitely definitely love that I bought um I bought these ones I think like a couple weeks ago but I've been finally wearing them out um these are these halogen which is the Nordstrom brand they are these 100% cashmere tops you guys saw me buy a gray one during Christmas like I think a couple days before Christmas I've been wearing it non-stop. It's been serving a really great purpose in my wardrobe, so I kind of want to invest in them. They went on sale for 50% off, and I was like, I'm going to purchase it. I think by the time this video is out, I have worn it in a vlog. This one's in a size medium. I wanted it so I can layer it with third pieces. I knew by the reviews that this one was going to be a little sheer, so as you can see, you can see the hanger, you can see my hand, and you can see my nipples when I wear it. So I wanted to make sure that it was in a size where I can layer it really well. The gray one, the one that I got around Christmas, has been washing and has been holding up really well. I love it because it's not super super thick so it's like perfect for the Texas weather I want to get that kind of fall and winter fantasy moment but I also don't want to sweat and die uh, because I live in Texas so this one has been like serving the fantasy for it I, I start, it, it's been functioning really well and obviously in all grand scheme of things Serge's probably color that he uses the most as much as I don't want to admit it is the black one so this one I have yet to wear it is in the medium size as well and this one is not, since it is black, you can't really tell, like you can't really, you can see the hanger a little bit, but it's black, so you, you can't really tell. I love that it has the slit, so it makes it more casual. Having great basics, this one with blue jeans, um, this one with everything goes with black trousers, and you can just never go wrong with black turtlenecks. I have a few black turtlenecks that are body suits or that are just kind of like a cashmere or a wool blend and they just hold up really well and i think that's a really great investment and as you guys see me like through a lot of my videos one of my favorite things is the classic turtleneck so uh it's something that i don't mind having a few of them up because i really do get my wear on them so i have this black one from college we're going to be going into fitness category um i have this sweaty bitty set i've been trying to get rid of a lot of my lululemon pieces i know i've been getting asked to do a video on brands that i don't support there's brands that i don't like and then brands that i don't support lululemon is kind of a brand that i don't support 
anymore. Um, I just kind of did my research on the company and I mean, Lululemon really means nothing, so why should it mean something to me? So um, yeah, that's kind of my reasoning about it, but like I said, I'll talk about it in a video. Um, Sweaty Betty has been a brand that I've been enjoying. I also like Aloe and I also like Girlfriend Collective, but I've been loving this set. I've always wanted a great set like this for such a long time and I finally hit the bullet and I bought it. Um, this one's in a medium and this one's in a small. It's the perfect gray sweat when I have to do casual, super, super run fits. If I'm actually going to work out, if I have to walk my dog, whatever I have to do, I love that I can dress it up, I can dress it down. And what I like is that also the Sweaty Betty, it has, it's just like embroidered, kind of like the Nina Bing, where it's just kind of very seamless. You have to know what it is. It's been holding up really well. I already washed this two times. It's been washing really well. I will say I don't really dry a lot of my clothes. I will wait the two or three days for it to naturally dry. So I feel like there's more longevity. I've been kind of cuffing the sleeve up. Been giving you the sweaty Betty casual moment. And I've been actually wearing this with my Asics and my Givenchy jaw sneakers, especially with the jaw sneakers. I feel like they kind of make it a little bit more dressed up even though it's a sweatsuit set. So I've um, been loving this one. Just is this sweaty Betty running jacket. So. Like I said, I've been into running. I already had Sweaty Betty leggings that I bought like a couple months ago. So I wanted to have kind of a matching set. I saw this one and I love it. What I love is that it gives the illusion that I'm more slimmer than what I appear because on the end, they have kind of like this flowy thing. So it's very seamless, right? And you have this extra fabric, right? So it kind of gives it like, oh, like he's skinny, but then you have the kind of like this flowy. It has a hoodie right here. It has pockets where you can actually put a little bit of things back there. It's just the perfect running jacket. It is so cute. I've already gotten so many compliments on it. It is such a slimming jacket and it makes me feel like a skinny legend. And I put it through little armholes. I'm just serving all these little skinny legend moments. Portion of the video, we're gonna be talking about Rent the Runway. So I have a couple of pieces from this week's Rent the Runway. If you guys don't know, I talked about this in a day in my life in November, how I have the Rent the Runway description. So about like every kind of 10 days or so, I go in and I check, I go in, send my items back, and then I get new items. So I tend to get things that are kind of fun pieces, things that I kind of want to try out, things that I kind of want to talk about in videos. So it's been serving really well considering like I am doing a little bit of YouTube, I am kind of blogging a little bit. So it does serve a purpose and I do really like it because I get to try out a lot of my favorite brands like Vans, Theory, Veronica Beard, ALC, and there's so many brands like Troy Birch also on there. And so I'm going to be showing you what I got and I highly recommend Rent the Runway. Like I said, all you do, you pick out four items. When you're done with them, you send them back. You can go back in the app. You can pick your next four items and you get them. And since I live in Dallas, the warehouse is actually in Arlington, which is about 25 minutes away. So sometimes if I send it out like really early in the morning, like let's say on a Monday early morning, um, sometimes I will get it literally the next day, which is really, really great. So I'm kind of happy that in a sense I live very close to it because I, I really have a high turnaround and I can actually really take advantage of it versus some people may have to wait like a couple of days. I literally get it within the next day because the warehouse isn't that far. And if I really wanted to, I'm pretty sure I'd be like, can I pick it up from the warehouse? Pretty sure they'll tell me yeah. Pieces that I got is this Philip Lynn Pashley video on bags that used to be it bags. So this is one of the bags that I wanted to get. It's in a beautiful green color. I love it so freaking much. You just open it up, closure. It's a little bit of the tiny bag and I love the color green. I love the gold hardware. Um, it's just definitely such a throwback moment. I remember me watching YouTube videos, uh, like the original kind of beauty guru, the original kind of uh, starting out kind of like videos. Um, this was a bag that a lot of people carry. This is a bag that I wanted, but I wanted the Target version because I couldn't afford to buy this one, so I could, thought I could, I could afford the $35.99 Target version, and I've just been loving it, and you know, I have it, I'm doing a video on it, I may wear it out a couple times, and then I, what's fun is I can just in, I go in it into Nordstrom because they're partnered with Rent the Runway, I just go in, they scan this, I scan this little thing right there, and the little return thing, and I keep it moving, and I can order my next things, and the next day I have something new to have. Well, I've been loving it, it's been, like I said, it's been her serving such a great purpose. I always get asked about Rent the Runway, I think it's worth it. I've had it since November, December, January, February, and March. So I've had it for about five months and cannot say anything wrong about it. And then the next item that I got from my Rent the Runway, I wanted to do like a really good like red moment, like a pop of red where I can wear like, like literally, I can, I'm actually going to try this on right now. Normally, like I said, everything's getting a try on haul, but this one I'm just going to try on right Beautiful red moment. <laughs> red is not a color that I wear a whole lot. I don't really have a lot of red, but look at this red white and blue like oh, do we love all this contrast with my skin tone yes like i'm living for it this one's alc size a one of my favorite brands like i'm living for this red little moment this little red ruby woo mac lipstick moment 
I'm here for it. Lo soy amando. Like that girly, I'm wearing some white sneakers. You know, put a put my coach white Cassie bag. I'm out the door. I'm like, see ya, girls. The runway. This is something I typically wouldn't buy, but I love that I get to live in the moment, and then I get to send it back and try something new and repeat that good. And that's good for my savings account. That's good for my checkings account. That's good for uh, the environment because you get to people get to reuse the I love it. It's good for my closet too because I need the closet space. So um, perfect ALC moment. Last two items for my run the runway is this Veronica Beard set, and that's one of my favorite things to do is get fun sets. Okay, are we here for this? This Veronica Beard short, this one's in a size 8, this one's in a size 8. I could have worn a size 6 on this one, but um, I just wanted to make sure that it fit. I'd rather it fit loose than be too tight. And so I took a picture in this, and I'm doing kind of some shots in this. I love Veronica Beard. It's one of my favorite brands. Um, the Veronicas make beautiful blazers, clothing, and I'm just a big fan of them. And so, yeah, Veronica Beard set. Love it, love, love this so much. And um, I'll enter the picture. We're almost done with the haul. The haul's been going pretty fast. I feel like I've been talking pretty good, which is good because I don't get to keep you guys too long like a teacher. Get into the fun handbag moment and the fun accessories. So you're like, Sergio, this Burberry trench coat, I thought you already owned this. Why is this in the rack? Well, let me show you. To introduce this Burberry banner bag. Yeah, it's actually the from the same collection. Obviously, this is types of fabrics, but they're like the same kind of color. I'm gonna be serving a full Burberry moment. Like I saw this bag, I was like, I've always wanted a banner bag from Burberry in my collection. I know I say I don't like monogram. I don't like I don't really care for monogram. This is the print, and this is not something that I'm gonna be wearing every day. This is something that I'll probably wear like maybe once every two weeks, once a month. I knew going in that this bag was going to be not a bag for people may feel some type of way, but like I said, I knew that this is not a bag. You know, I have over 50 bags in my collection. This is like a bag that I pull out maybe once or twice a month if I wear it with other Burberry items. And so like I said, I've always wanted a Burberry banner bag. We've been to the Burberry outlet many times, both of us. And I still haven't found one. And then one of my essays texted me. He was like, hey, do you want this Burberry bag? It is $380 from $1,200. And I said, yeah, ship it to me. And I got it. So this is the Burberry banner bag in the block. This one is from like a couple collections ago, but it is still brand new. It still has all the blue in it. Like I said, this is like a bag that I'm just gonna be having for the moment. I definitely wanna serve a full look. I don't know where how I'm gonna be wearing this full Burberry look. It's definitely very loud. Um, like I said, I'd probably wear it more in the nightlife. I don't think I'd wear it in the daytime. I may take a picture in the daytime, but that's definitely more of a nighttime type bag. Like I'll this one, cause it literally goes with everything. Blue jeans, white top. Burberry items. I want to do a Burberry video bags, Burberry collection, do a Burberry collection that I have of everything, a Burberry haul. Just talk about Burberry. I don't really talk a lot about Burberry, but it is one of my favorite brands. You know what? I've been loving my pink Valentino studded moment. I've been loving a little bit pops of items because I feel like I'm at this point in my collection where I love to have nice basics. I love to have my clean cut Dougie Dover backpacks, my classic Chanel's, uh, you know, some current, you know, classic items, but I also kind of want to have a little bit of fun. And so I thought this was a little bit of fun. So I was like, you know, a vintage look to it. So. I went for it, I like it, like I said, it's not monogram, it's a print, and this is a bag that I'll probably wear like once or twice a month, but I'm here for it, I'm living for it, I love it. Are we here for it? I'll be doing a full video on this. Take the strap off, you can give it a top handle moment, you can open it up, it has Burberry right there with the zipper. I've been wanting to add a small Burberry bag in my collection for the longest. I have one, the last Burberry bag that I had was this one right here, which is like a humongous tote. Like literally when I got that bag, it smelled like it smelled like poppers because it it was a it was one of my friend's old bags. It smelled like poppers, so I had to let it air out. And so you know that was the last bag that I had. I said I've always liked Burberry. My mom actually kind of likes Burberry too, so she may actually steal this from me after I'm done with it. But you know I'm living for a little Burberry moment. Like I said, not an everyday bag, not a bag that I would use all the time. But like I said, I'm at this point in my collection where I can have a little bit of fun moments that doesn't necessarily have to get a lot a lot of use out of and. I think for a long time I was going for very classic items and I feel like Sergio at one point, yes you continue adding core black bags, core different, but I think it's fun to have a little bit of fun while moments and living for the moment and this just happened to be one of them. And yeah, I'll make a, I'll do, I'll talk about the banner bag more in a Burberry dedicated video, but I did want to show you that I did purchase this and thank you to that essay, you came through, 
Love it, love it, love it so freaking much. Down to the last two items. I have a Givenchy item and this. So this I talked about in a haul. I told you guys um, that I was going to tell you if I liked it or not. I don't want to wait enough for a favorites video because I've actually been loving this. The Kendra Texturizing. Ooh, you can see my little camera right there. This is a texturizing taffy. I want to get kind of like something that's not hairspray. Because normally when I bought... Okay, when I buy something that I like, I usually buy it in bulk, right? I buy like three or four. Um, and so I still have like two full and thin hairsprays and I have two that are kind of open. And so I noticed that I don't see myself growing out my hair for the summertime. I think in the fall, I may grow it out maybe two or three more inches. It is pretty short right now. So I told myself, I want something that isn't hairspray because I can find hairsprays a little bit too heavy. And so I tried this little taffy by Kendra. My mom has used Kendra's items in the past and it literally reminds me of my childhood when I would use it. And she'd be like, stop using my stuff. My hair smells so good. I made all my friends smell my hair. And they're like, oh my god, it smells so good. And some guys have been telling me that my hair smells good. So this has been a really great product. So if I get a compliment from the guys, it means it's a great item. So I've been into it. Kendra Platinum Texturizing Taffy, here for it. So if you want to get compliments, guys, anything from Kendra has a really good scent to it. So I'd, I'd go for it. The item that I have for you guys is from... I talked about this belt in my Givenchy video, and then also when I went to Houston, I said I'll talk about it in a video. Um, so now it's the video belt. You guys know that I'm not the biggest monogram person in belts or big clothes in belts. I don't mind one, but I just don't. Not a lot of people have this belt. It's not like a Hermes belt, a Gucci belt, a Saint Laurent belt, a, you know, a lot of the popular belts. So it's like a nice statement belt, but that's like not in your face that it has something, but not so much. I and Whitley wear this belt, and I told myself probably yes. And so it is this Givenchy belt. It's a Givenchy. Um, I'm mostly planning to wear it. To, I don't really like if, if I have to show the buckle, I don't mind. Like it's kind of a cute moment, but I'm just wanted like a nice leather belt that I can just wear. So um, I probably won't wear it with like this outfit. I'll probably wear it with like um, when like the sweater, the thing's a little bit flowy and I just need an actual belt. And so yeah, I saw this video, I was like, eh, I kind of like it. You know, I do like Givenchy. I said I would have a few Givenchy items to go with. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try. And I told myself, if I don't wear it, I would return it. But obviously I've already worn it a couple times. So I love it. So yeah, I got this Givenchy belt. I will be doing a new video on belts that I actually like. Cause I know I've been getting asked about belts and SOGs and all that fun stuff. I'm just so excited to be making a lot more handbag and accessory content and like clothing content. Like I'm here for it. Like. I can literally put out a video every single day because that's how much I love accessories and I love it all. And I'm living for all the accessories and contemporary and designer fantasies. So that's going to be my haul. What do you guys think? Do we like it? Do we not like it? How do we think about the Rent the Runway? My little simple spring summer stuff that I already have going on. Are we banner bag? Are we here for it? Are we not here for it? I want to hear it down below. Are you guys ready for spring and summer? Because definitely this girl is. Let me know if you want to see so let me know if you want to see more clothing content because it's not something that I do a whole whole lot on this channel and I don't mind doing a lot more content if you guys want to see that. Uh, clothing is one of my favorite things. I could do like a lookbook, things that you need in your closet, uh, how to style certain things, how to style certain handbag. I think for handbag, I could do that one more on TikTok. I also have a TikTok if you guys want to check it out. But let me know what you guys want to see as far as clothing because I know for accessories, I can, you know, I have so many video ideas for that and I know you guys will love and support it, but I'm not sure how the clothing portion would go because there's a few videos that I do about clothing, a lot, a lot of traction. So I want to make sure I put content that you and both of us love. And yeah, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links for everything down below. I'm about to go get my nails done with my friends, so I'm so excited. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Los quiero mucho.